Okay, today we're gonna learn how to flip the quad. So everybody has done a texture, a color theory, name that. Color theory and a my choice. So this is a sample piece that I'm giving everyone to use. It's an old, older work from another student, but you should have all three of these done. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is we're gonna hide all of these other layers and we're gonna, I just wanna show you that this, see this, when you click on the move tool, you see how it's going outside of the image. That's because if I hide all these other layers, if I move this, you see that? That is from me putting in textures, okay? So you will probably have a bunch of those hanging off the edge. So I'm gonna just command Z. And to make, you must clip them off. So to do that, you click on the crop tool. And then see where it says right up here, delete cropped pixels, check that box. And then click the check mark. And now when I click on the move tool, see how it's cropped everything off. There's no more stuff hanging around the edge. It's very important that you do that because when you go to flip it, it'll be in the way and you don't want that. So basically it's just cleaning up all that extra stuff. All right, so we're not gonna use the move tool to flip because we wanna keep just three layers. And so this is how I like to do it. You can also move with the selection tools. If you press the command key, watch. See how it changes? Here's my cursor, it changes to an arrow. I can move things around if I am on this selection. Okay, so I'm gonna hide all my layers except my choice. And I'm gonna start with my choice. Okay, so I listed this all out. It's not in thorough detail or it might be a book, but this is meant for you to watch the video so you can see what to do. Okay, so I opened the file, I cropped it, and now I'm gonna do my choice. So the first thing I need to do is I need to add extra space to flip it because this is only one fourth. So you have to decide which corner is gonna be the center. And to me, this corner at the bottom right looks obvious, but on your work, it might be over here or it might be over here. So it's gonna be a little bit different for each person. You're just gonna move things to the opposite side. Okay, so we see that this bottom right corner is the corner we wanna do. So we need to add more space. It needs to be at least twice the size, plus a little extra for just maneuvering around and then we'll crop it when we're done. So what you do is you go to image, canvas size, and then change it to inches because it's just easier to think. Pixels is a big number. So just round up and you're gonna double the size plus add two inches. So I'm gonna round this up to nine and nine plus nine is 18. So I'm doubling the width plus adding two inches. So Nine and nine is 18, so we're gonna make it 20 because I'm adding two extra inches. And then this is, we're rounding it up to 11. So that would be 22 inches when we double it. And I'm gonna add two inches, so it's 24. So I'm gonna turn this piece into a work of art that's 20 by 24 inches. Now, this little box thing here tells you where you wanna put those extra, that extra space, right? If I leave it as it is, there's a circle in the middle. The default is it's gonna add all the extra space around the whole thing. But I want it to go down in this corner. So in order for me to do that, I have to push this piece up into the opposite corner. So I want to put this whole piece of art up to the top left corner so that I have the added space right here. So it's kind of the opposite, right? So if this is, if the bottom right is my center, then I need to push it up to the top left. So it's the opposite corner. And then when I click okay, it's gonna look like that. And if I press command zero to see the whole thing, this is what it all looks like now. So now I have all this space and see how it's got the checkerboard. That means that it's transparent. There's nothing there. Um, and all of the things are up in the corner. You can see from the layers. 
Okay, now I'm gonna move this. So I need to copy it and move it. Now that I know I have a lot of extra space, I'm gonna choose, I'm using the, the um, rectangle select tool and I'm just gonna do a command A. So command A selects all. And you can see that the little dashed line goes all the way around. But when I move it, it'll snap to this. Okay, so it's just easier to make sure I get everything. So I'm just doing command A. <clears throat> then I'm gonna press the command key, right? And that moves it. But I wanna make sure that I wanna duplicate, move and keep it straight. Okay, so I wanna move this over to the opposite side. So depending on which side you're on, I'm moving this over here. So I press command to get the move option. And then I'm pressing the option key and on Photoshop, it'll put a little plus sign, but it doesn't do that on photo P, but we're just gonna trust that it's doing it. So you press command, then option, and then you start dragging to the right and don't let go of anything because every time you let go and click, it's gonna make another copy. So as I'm moving it over, I'm still holding my command and option key, but look, it moves up and down. I wanna make sure that it goes perfectly straight. So I'm gonna add the shift key. So I have my finger on the command and the option. And after I start moving it to the right, then I add the shift key. You gotta wait to add the shift key because it needs to know what direction it's going, right? See now how it's keeping it straight going this way. So I press command and option to move it and duplicate it. And then I add shift to keep it constrained to go straight across. And I'm gonna put it just right there. See how I left a gap? I want you to leave a gap because it's hard to tell if you have it perfectly lined up unless you zoom way in. So I like to leave a little gap and then I'm gonna flip this so that it's the opposite of this. So it's gonna be a symmetrical mirror image of this piece. So I go edit, transform, flip horizontally. And then when I do the other one, I'll do flip vertically. So now I flipped it horizontally. So see, it's a mirror image and it's gonna connect. Then I'm gonna press my space bar and my command key. And I'm gonna zoom in like against something that has a line on it. So see how there's nothing here with a line, but there's a line here. If I zoom way in, I can see the lines. And now I'm gonna press just the command key, not the option, because then you'll duplicate it again. And we don't wanna do that. So just press command. It's still selected, press command and start dragging, then add shift to keep it straight. So if I add the shift key, it's gonna line up and be very careful to just get it so it's just touching. Don't go over even one pixel because then it won't be lined up properly. I'm gonna go command zero to see the whole thing. And now just this is selected. So I wanna select everything. So I'm ready to do the other part. And so you should check your layers. It should only still have my choice. So because we're doing it this way, everything is duplicating and moving around on just the My Choice layer. So I'm gonna press Command A. You could deselect it, but I, you don't have to. You just press Command A and it selects everything. And then I'm gonna press Command, then Option. I'm gonna start dragging down before I hold the Shift key. And then once I start dragging down, if I add the Shift key, it keeps it perfectly straight. So I'm gonna leave a teeny little gap. I let go of the mouse first. Always let go of the mouse first, then the keys. Because if you let go of the keys first, it doesn't know what you were trying to do and it won't do the commands you just told it to do. So now I'm gonna flip it vertically. So I go edit, transform, flip vertically. And then I'm gonna zoom in against the line. Man, I'm gonna go zoom in all the way. And I'm gonna, press command so I get the arrow and I'm gonna start pulling it up and then I add shift to keep it straight because I want it to line up and I'm just gonna snap right to the no pixels, no, not even going over any pixels and then command zero to see the whole thing and command D. When you're done with that, you do all three. See these ones haven't been, they haven't been flipped yet. So on your own, you only have to do one on this, okay? Just do one for practice. You can do more if you wanna practice more before you do your own. Um, but for to turn this in, you just have to do one. But on your own, 
you have to do all three versions. Okay, when you're done with all three versions, you go to the crop tool and then bring it over to the edge to get rid of the stuff and then zoom way in to make sure that you get it right to the edge. So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna put it right there and then press the check mark and command zero to see the whole thing. So now I've cropped it down to the whole thing. Don't do that until you have duplicated all the ones that, or until you flipped all the ones that you wanna flip, okay? Do, don't crop the whole thing until you're done with all three layers, all right, on your own. But you only have to do one for this practice piece, all right? So that's it. That's how you flip it. Isn't it fun? Um, it's always a big surprise to see how it turns out. So have fun doing, doing this, practicing, and then do your own when you're done practicing. <laughs>